Hello, in this video, we will learn how to use the um, SCP HANA Web IDE to load data from the uh, Microsoft City Server to the target HANA system. Okay, and in my previous video, uh, we learned how to use the um, data provisioning agent uh, to set up the remote source from the SCP ECC underlying database, uh, which is the Microsoft SQL Server 2012, uh, to the target SCP HANA. Okay, but that remote source is only for a virtual table. Okay, the data is still stored basically in the remote uh, Microsoft SQL Server. All right, and this video we're gonna load those data from the remote source virtual table to a HANA table. Okay. And this is a task we're going to perform in this video. All right. And the first task is that um, we're going to create a new schema, uh, which is called ICP and score ECC. Okay. This means the table will be created in this schema. All right. Now, to do that, I just log on to the uh, HANA web IDE. Right, and I go to the flow. Okay, so this is a schema we created in in the previous video to create the uh, virtual table. All right, but this time we're gonna create another schema, um, and in that schema we're gonna. Um, uh, load the data from this virtual table um, to uh, uh, fit to a table in the SCP ECC scheme. All right. So now the uh, to create a new schema is very straightforward in the web ID. So just right click on the catalog folder and choose new schema. We're going to name this schema as SCP Go ECC without because we're gonna really put data in this scheme, right? So we'll just click OK. Now we have this SCP underscore ECC the schema, and then we're gonna build a very simple uh, data flow to load data from this virtual table you see here to uh, one of the target table in this SCP underscore ECC schema. Right. Before we do that, we have to grant the uh, privilege to the user system repo because this user is the system user to really create the data flow or to generate a SQL script. Right. We have to grant the um, um, authorization uh, for the schema we just created. Right. Okay. This schema is SCP and so ECC. Just create this. Okay, and you just deploy. All right, now we go back to the web IDE, and this time we're going to go to the editor. We're going to use the editor to um, build a very simple and the basic data flow to load the data from the virtual table to the target table, right? So as you can see here, I have already have a SCP and score ERP package. I'm going to build the data flow and this package, all right? And the right click and choose new flow graph. And we just give a name uh, for the flow graph. We call it ANA1. This is a custom table. Um, um, we just put like right location. Okay, that means this is replicate data from the in A1. All right, so now this is uh, the web IDE. Uh, on the left hand, there's some like a few options 
you can use it's you know it's it's pretty similar to the data service you know, field join sort and in we're gonna mainly use a data source. And here you can choose the target schema. Okay, so which means uh which schema are you gonna use to store the talk the talk data? All right. In our case, we're gonna choose SCP and SCO ECC. Okay, we just click the OK. Now we just drag a data source, and data source is the virtual table. Okay, this is a virtual table, and then we can choose the uh, tablet table, which is uh, the data target. Okay, and uh, we double click this target table. We can give a name. Let's give a name A A one. Okay, this is target table because this table. Is not existing right now in the scheme SAP and score ECC. And this data flow will be creating that table okay, once we execute. All right. Just click back. And sometimes we do not want to replicate all the data. So we're going to try a very simple filter. Right. So we just link the data source to the filter and the filter to the talk table. Right. So um, no, let's first delete the link between the field and talk table, right? So here you're going to see the list of the input fields and list of output fields, all right? So let only the we are interested. Suppose we're going to load data only for the CA Canada, okay? We put like CA means we will be only loading data for the CA, okay? And so for the output field, we're gonna use, um, you're gonna say the list of the output fields, but maybe we don't need all of those fields, okay? And suppose we only need a few fields maybe, then we can try to, you have the op option to remove the fields you don't want. For example, I, I I don't know what that let's see I don't know what this field means. Slash VSO slash you know I don't know I don't I don't know what what are these fields used for so I don't want to load them. So I click delete 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 to remove all the fields we don't want. Okay. Let's try to remove all the slash fields. Later, we're going to compare, see if in the talk table we have this field with prefix slash. So we need to remove them all. Okay, so we have removed all the uh, slash fields. Uh, so we only interested with these fields. In plus, um, we want only load the data for the Canada, right? So this field is the country field. So we're going to use this one to build. We're going to use this very simple uh, expression to load data for the Canada, all right? And we just go back. And then we can link the field data to the template table. All right. So now if you double click the template table, we're going to see a list of the output fields, but with no fields uh, with the name slash. Okay. Because we have removed all those fields in the uh, mapping in the field node. All right. So now we just go back. Everything's fine. We just save. And activate. Okay, you're gonna see here the message the data flow saved and activated successfully. All right, now the next step is gonna to execute this data flow to load data from the virtual table to the talk table. Now, before we start task, we go back to the catalog, go back to the schema SCP and SCO ECC, and go to tables to make sure. 
the, ta the, the table does not have any data right now, okay? So if we go to the open content, may take some time, a, a little bit slow. Okay, now moving. Now we can go to the um, HANA Studio. Um, this a little bit faster. So we go to the schema SPN spell ECC and we go to the table K and E1 in open data preview. So nothing there, right? Because we have not executed the task yet. Now let's go back to the uh, data flow and click execute. Okay, it's pretty fast. Okay, to so see the successful exit in uh, in the seconds, and now we go back to the HANA Studio, and now let's refresh. We should be able to, should be able to see the data. Okay, see here we only have the data with CA, right? And we're gonna do another verification because we have uh, removed all these uh, uh, fields with the uh, prefix slash. We just go open the definition and to make sure we don't have any field with prefix slash. See, we don't have any field with slash, uh, prefix slash. So that means our data flow is executed successfully, right? So this is the same thing, but it takes more time because it's from the web IDE, right? Now it does not have any data. So if I click refresh, we should be able to see the data. Oh. Take some time. Um, the screen is still loading. Yeah, see, we have the data, but with only the country Canada, right? Okay, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.